Give me one bad for the casting. Uh, we're gonna go into Show versus Cypher in just a moment. Show brought three interesting classes: Warrior, Druid, Hunter. Something of a power lineup uh, versus Cypher's Warlock, Warrior, Paladin. Paladin again, not the most representative class in this uh, tournament so far. Yeah, no, I mean, not a lot of Paladins, but uh, every now and again you'll see somebody uh, squeak one out and play some really exciting, you know, quartermaster combos that just drop people uh, real fast and they end up standing there looking surprised. Yeah. Now, like, if, if Cypher's playing aggro Paladin, which has, you know, made a bit of a rise on ladder, and the show's playing, you know, mid range Druid, let's say, right? Because that's a pretty popular way to play Druid, aggro Paladin will typically have the edge there. Mid range Paladin. A bit of an edge as well. Um, control Pally, that could mix it in with the mid-range. It's kind of a 50-50. So, if the the Paladin is usually going to be fine against Druid, it's going to hold against Show's Druid. The Hunter, however, is a bit of a different story, because although the aggro Pally might do well against Hunter, the mid-range Pally suffers a little, a little bit more. So, like, it seems like the faster the deck is at the moment for the Paladin deck that Cypher brought, the better it's going to be overall against Show's lineup. Yep, right into the game here. And I, and I got to say, show with a little bit of a rough uh, draw here leading into the tournament as he ran into Surrender, who's been playing just beautifully. And uh, show sitting at 1 1 right now overall in his group. 0 oh, 1 for Cypher. So show uh, got a chance here to uh, put himself 2 1 and uh, hopefully get into a comfortable spot and put Cypher into a much less comfortable one. Well, Cypher playing Sylvanas here, definitely not the aggro paladin. So it looks like we're looking at a Sylvanas, Iron Bikel, Aldor, Peacekeep for start, which... What class is he playing? He's playing Hunter. Alright, so Cypher is going to have to try to get some more early game. Uh, Shielded Minibot being probably the most crucial one, and he plays an MC tech in his Paladin deck. I have to say, I love this. Yeah, that's a respect move right there. Gets his equality early on as well, so we'll have that ready to go instead of sitting there hoping on a draw in case Show ends up ahead on the board. Knife Juggler out here first for Show. Mm, it's just, uh, like equality against Hunter is usually, it, it always ends up being a bit too late, it feels. But sometimes you need it. Like when the board, as you said, really gets out of hand, you sometimes need the equality concept. Uh, but it works pretty well with Muster for Battle as well, so there might be a few more Alice in Cypher's deck allowing it to be functional. Iron B. Cowl here is probably a decent play. Yep, and there he goes for it, nullifying the knives that come out of the knife juggling. No juggling for you, that guy's, it's real obnoxious with the juggling. He does it everywhere. Parties, doesn't matter. Always trying to juggle. Every day I'm juggling. Oh, <laughs> picks up the shield and minibot. That is a great draw for Cypher here. Um, and it's funny when you think about it because the owl, when it silences off the node, the knife juggler can trade with it. So you get like a, a 2 1 for a 3 2. You lose the functionality of the owl, obviously, but it's all right. Huffer. Oh, no, it's Leo. No, Leo. And for a the nice... first time, Cypher was happy with Huffer because he could actually yeah. trade into it. <laughs> yeah, with that uh, divine shield, he was going to get some free turns. Tyrion. Gonna go into the deck for Cypher, and uh, he's gonna just sit here and think about what to do with that fancy bot. It's got a shield on it. Tempo, big and game hunter is my guess. But then again, we don't know what Cypher's thinking shows holding. Uh, he could be waiting for a better time to use BGH, but honestly, against Hunter, a tempo play with it can be very often justifiable. Yeah, it's gonna give him a good board position. Show sitting with a couple of piloted shredders, a mad scientist in his hand, and an explosive trap that's uh, waiting for its moment in the sun. Right now, Cypher really thinking it over, though, and, uh, you know, rightly so. You don't want to make that misstep early, end up with things kind of... Equality is good. Sorry. Spot. Yeah. I mean, sorry about that. I just kind of had an epiphany as he was about to play it. Equality is so good in this position, I don't even know how they didn't think of that play. Yeah, it's going to get the scientist down, and yeah, nice clear there with the quality. Or not wow. clear, but... Well, it kind of is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let the scientist hang out and sends it to face. Of course, why not? I mean, paladins will put you on a clock, so you do have to get it done. And that equality, finally finding an enabler with that muster for battle, but you have to be worried about unleash the hounds if you do that. That is the biggest worry I have here. Is if I muster, what if he unleashes? Now, right now, it'd be safe to do it as show pulls a hunter's mark. At least for the moment, might end up with the nice draw next time around. Freezing trap sends. Th the minibot back in, Lotheb gonna come out and take its place. Yeah, I like that. The shield minibot gonna get a second life with the divine shield and the plus one health that it lost from equality. And Cypher can't really set up for a good MC tech at any point soon. Unfortunately for him, he's gonna have to kind of play it as a tempo eventually. 
Not going to grab the zombie chow right now. He's got his nice expensive uh, shielded bot in there. Looking fancy. Kill command grab for show. Obviously not going to be able to play it around any time. Or that last round. Low thev out. He's going to trade it over. Puddle Stomper. That's a, nice That's a very yeah, average very average outcome here for the, the minion. But then again, show would probably rather get a 3-2 um, than a 2-3 at this point. Yeah, and something you can weak comfortably constant, trade like, over. Yeah, it's the, easier uh, to trade it's over. It's shredder in, yeah. Hmm. So, Cypher looking and waiting and watching. He's got his muster for battle. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he drops the fear of Unleash. I mean, with that loads up at one health, Unleash is still very scary, but if you don't go all in, you're never going to be able to take this board. And Zombie Chow going to join him on the board. Reinforce oh, and send it over. So, Sho doesn't have Unleash the Hounds, but he's got to be afraid of Quartermaster. Savannah High Main. I would be so scared of Quartermaster. I might just punch face here. You know, play high main, go face for seven, set up damage from kill command. It really depends on how you want to look at this, but... I do feel just, you know, pure face damage at this point is the only way Sho is guaranteed to possibly win against a Paladin. Sho goes for it, gets him down to 11. Cog hammer out now for Cypher, and not going to really add that much is a bulk sick to play, that line. Man. He can play his MC tech here. Pop the high main and then MC tech one of those minions. You could get the shredder. You could. It's always that chance. So, Cypher's to got to do it. He's got to do it. It's the only option. He's got to do it, Cypher. He's got to live the dream. Come on, get the shredder. Go. Teach that hunter. There he goes. What's he going to grab? The shredder. What? Get the shredder. Oh, my God. Cog hammer to Vault. Crazy draw here for Cypher. And is 1-1 one, one going to end up with the Divine Shield and Taunt? Cog Hammer going to save enough. him. He's going to clear away a Hyena. He clears the entire board here. This is beautiful for him. I mean, he's not out of the woods yet, but there's no piece to enable Kill Command. And he could mount an Assault that's going to kill the Hunter before he is dead. Oh! Oh! Well, that, sure. that's, is, that, is that game? One, two... Yeah, that's game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, he's one off lethal, I think. I, I think he's one off lethal. Hunter power. He's one. He's one yeah. mana off and one damage off. He's one of both off. Oh man. Oh, if you're Cipher, you're just sitting there thinking, okay. Lay on hands, go. We can do this. Got this. It's the draws. The lay on hands is actually Vitality told him from the Shredder, but he can't trigger it. Oh my God, that is not what Cipher wanted to see. Although he hasn't seen Kill Command yet, so. He thinks he might still have a chance, but truth is, we know that Kill Command Hero Power will lock the board down. Show just biding his time, tearing out, and uh, I mean, it's it's a scary bunch of cards dropping, but it's just not going to land uh, where it needs to. Wait, what if he attacks face with a cog hammer, <laughs> and Vitality Totem comes out? <laughs> Unfortunately for him, Show does have the Kill okay. Command. He didn't play last turn, very wisely so. And he's going to be taking the first game over Cypher, who still has to win with his Paladin against Sho's Druid. Comfy Kill Command Hero Power and Sho uh, up 1-0 here. And again, I mean, if you're Sho, that loss to Surrender puts this in, I mean, very much a, a kind of, I mean, obviously if you're Cypher as well, it's a, it's a must-win situation. But if, if you're Sho, you got to want this to be in a more comfortable position because you'll get that win. You're not, like, you're not, your worst case isn't a 2-2. Like, he can still get 3-1 in the overall. So I, I got to imagine if you're show, you're just like, okay, good. Little little bit of sigh of relief. Maybe you can relax on this next one here as a yeah, really solid performance here for show. Winning, for, winning with Druid against Paladin can be really difficult, um, especially since there's not only the Paladin, but the Warlock in the backhand. So, I mean, if it's a Zoo Warlock from Cypher, uh, that could be really difficult. I mean, Midrange Druid is very much at a disadvantage against Zoo Lock. So unless there's some really wonky trick up of, uh, you know, up Cypher's... Sleeve, it's going to be very difficult yeah. for him to catch up. I mean, yeah, I or if it. indeed the, the Paladin's what he wanted to bring out uh, in the other direction. I mean, you've got to imagine we see the switch up to Warlock here. Because uh, that, that Paladin game just didn't feel great. I mean, obviously, uh, we've been wrong about switches before, but. <laughs> I mean, if it, <laughs> like, is a Zool, if it is a Zoolock, no doubt Cypher brings it out. Handlock, I mean, Midrange Druid does very well against them now, so it's a little bit of a different switch. It used to be the case that you would always bring out Handlock against Druid, but the double combo version that became popular a long time ago 
uh, long switched the uh, long since switched the tables around, and Emperor Thorson also making the matchup a little bit more volatile for you as a warlock player. Because if a druid can nail a double combo, then you're going to be in a world of hurt. Yep. Yeah, that's just one of those you just sit back and watch and go, oh, "Okay, game's over." I didn't know the game was over, but I guess the game's over. Yeah, I'm just thinking like if he's going to bring anything but zoo. Like, he, Handlock definitely fits Cypher's playstyle. Uh, Zulok is a bit, maybe, I wouldn't say out of his comfort zone, but maybe not something that I've seen him play too much. And Maligos Warlock or Midrange Demon Lock, again, two other archetypes that do exist for Warlocks. Wouldn't be surprised to see him bring them. And it looks like a Zoo deck. I saw a Darewolf Alpha there. Yep. Oh man, Sho, you're, this is going to be very tough for Sho. Yeah, and the, yeah, the Direwolf Alpha comes swinging back in. Sho going to grab Wild Growth. Got the coin as well. Probably going to coin it out to get the shade out turn two, and then a turn three Keeper of the Grove. Unless you're really worried that it is Handlock, since there was no turn one play from Cypher, in which case that makes perhaps a little bit less uh, less sense to him. What to do? Yeah, not a lot. He can uh, really force out with all the two mana fun. It's in well, over. That zoo, that zoo tail, when Cypher drops a zoo minion, Show's going to be like, oh, wait, what just happened to me here? Did I just not coin wild growth? <laughs> and there's the creeper. And Show he's like, with well, the eye roll, yeah. Oh. yeah. That was like the most <laughs> aggravating outcome for him because not getting that shade out this turn is going to be a problem. Yeah, slow played yeah. it, hoping for, hoping for hand and didn't get it. Well, it's mostly so, that he thought his opponent was playing headlock, right? Like, if yeah, you think your yeah, opponent plays headlock, it's just... You, you you don't coin it out, but now yeah, why well, yeah, but don't you wish you had? Yeah, so force of nature, both of them in hand for show. Gonna be a bit before they can uh, come to the party though. Do you get the Jitter the Claw out now, or are you afraid of the inevitable knife juggler power overwhelming on the creeper? I think you gotta be. I mean, even if just from the psychological play uh, from missing the early the early shade, you gotta say okay. <laughs> I have to react now because I failed to act this preemptively. So sick. Cypher yeah, with the swipe. direwolf and the knife jeweler. Like swipe is the only answer the show has to really deal with this super effectively. There's a decent mm -hmm. argument to be made for uh just defensive Argusing. But you, when you can do it with the Argent Squire next turn, you want to really get your M Gang boss out of range. Yeah, yeah, I think you 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 want to yeah hold on to that because right now I mean obviously that the druid's not it's not terribly scary right so you want to kind of pile on while you've got the while you've got your 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 ability to without really getting punished for it too terribly hard but then you also have to be worried that yeah. maybe you a swipe. I mean, Direwolf Alpha plus Knife Juggler is sort of invulnerable to swipe, um, and it allows you to pop the creeper to get additional triggers on the juggler, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I feel. Oh, he's gonna go for the Argus now. All right, so he's gonna try to get the Imp Gang boss out of range of the Druid of the Claw, but that leaves him vulnerable to silence. I don't know how much I. Finally, the Shredder for show. Like that. Oh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not sure. I wonder what Cypher's plan is. Then there, there's definitely a plan there, probably to use the Juggler next turn. But is Cypher gonna let it happen? I mean, don't you just you know silence off the three five. Oh, there's so many plays for show. Yeah. I mean, that's where you look at the hand and you kind of go, okay, well, which direction yeah. do you try to take it in? And he's going to go shade. I, I, like, I like his shade. Just get, he needs to get minions on the board and might as well be mana efficient. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the druid's going to sit there, obviously. I mean, you, you want to just take advantage of that fact if you can get some more minions out on the board. Get a wrath over and uh, send the defender packing. That's possibly going to force a reaction out of Cypher. Well, Cypher's got an even better turn now. Ooh. It's even better than it was a second ago because now the Shade is possibly going to die. Like, Direwolf Alpha on these two minions will guarantee a kill in the 4 6. And once the, the Spider pops, anything can happen. So, Cypher, I mean, just pulling into a nice little spot here. And he can play casual if he wants as well. Obviously, Show's not going to want to be terribly aggressive. Uh, well, last turn, he wasn't going to want to be terribly aggressive. So, Knife Juggler and Direwolf. Yeah, Cypher going for it. 
No reason not to, and the shade's already damaged by one, so oh. the odds of it living through this turn are about impossible. Like, there's no way. Yeah. It, I mean, if it does live, I will Ooh. get a name change. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The RNG gods, are they your friend right now, Cypher? Come on, man. Three knives, there's no way. Yep. Yeah, there we go. First one straight in. Right into the back, and then Squire gonna come out as well. So, show here... Praying oh, no, he leaves the squire for, for the swipe. Yeah, that's the thing though. Cypher doesn't want to overextend it to swipe if not necessary. Um, but it would have been justifiable. Now though, Sho gonna be able to use one of his forces of nature to kill three minions, two of which uh, are gonna be problematic. You know, you can kill the juggler, kill a dire wolf, and kill a three one. It's not even that bad for Sho. Yeah, it's gonna come back to a, a fairly even playing field here. It's gonna be a bunch of one ones sitting around. Not terribly scary, still sitting at twenty six health, so not going to end up too far behind even after Cypher gets some uh, some fairly solid plays down onto the board with Doomguard coming out for Cypher here. Um, Argent Squire, Doomguard looks stellar. I, I like that play. I mean, how is Sho going to punish that Doomguard? Although you could yeah. play it slowly by tapping. It's not even a bad idea at this point. You're really early. You have you need to find your POs. Taps into Power Overwhelming, grabs one, and uh, there's your Ruby and Egg, Argent Squire. Yeah, the punishment of a possible swipe wrath on the Doom Guard, leaving you with nothing, would probably be, uh, it's too risky. You want to force the Druid yeah. to have the swipe. Gets an Innervate, and uh, yeah, I mean, Sho probably would very much enjoy a swipe now, as he's just going to start getting chipped. He's not out of this yet. Not out no of this. Sure. Going to get the card draw, yeah. He definitely wants something. Going to get Shade and Wrath out of it. Sends it back over. Ooh. Implosion for Cypher, so when the board goes away, it'll just come back to hang out again. I mean, that egg is just going to pop on the 5-5. Five five. Oh, actually, do you? Yeah, I guess you have to anyway. Doesn't really matter. Just make the easy trades. You play Doom Guard, lose the implosion, and that's when you can't be punished. You got a 4-4 four four and four one ones, one of which is shielded. I mean, the odds of show dealing with all of this at once are super slim. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, obviously, he, he still doesn't have a swipe in hand. It is the swipe uh, or die the turn. Four. Yep, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. Uh, swipe A, but, uh, you know, not a swipe. So, Force of Nature Wrath. Or Force of Nature Innovate Keeper. That's pretty mediocre. I wouldn't yeah. like to do that, but then again. What to do? Well, I mean, if you're just, if you're trying to cling... For sure, yeah, I was going to say, if you're just trying to survive here, that might be your yeah. only out. He can't really play to win um, yeah. anytime soon, so he's going to have to play to survive before he can start playing to turn around and get well, the win. 13 wins. and 13 on the board. So something's got to go, or he's got to get a taunt up. Show. Taking his time to think about it. I mean, again, it's a it's a rough turn. It's all no about how you it, it. It all came down to that coin wild growth. He expected to be facing off against Malilock or Handlock, and he turned out to be facing off against Zoo. And as soon as he saw that card, you saw him roll his eyes. Like, yeah. what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I put what am I behind. supposed to do here? And, he's and just it's gonna just gonna go scramble back. Yeah. So five, six, seven. 8, 9. So 4 damage for Cypher need to be found. Power of Whelming will solve it. Second Doom Guard will solve that. Abuse of Sergeant, Darwolf Alpha. Lots of combinations of cards in a zoo deck that can exist to just handle the game right away. Yeah, Voidwalker going to be at the very least annoying. He's going to end up with an Argent Squire. So, I mean, a pair of annoying minions. Do you remember uh, when people used to play Shield Bear in zoo? Yeah. <laughs> because it just protected everything. Man, that was frustrating. It's the dream, man. <laughs> Just put the most annoying thing in there, like uh, like the what's uh, the the uh, was it the Dax Ramus deck where they just give you stone skin gargoyles and a bunch of buffs. Yeah, I think that was a like a Paladin challenge or something. Yeah, yeah. And Argent Squire gonna come out, and there goes the no Void Walker. Yeah, he's gonna join him. Yeah, Cypher just going full face, realizes, hey, Sho's going to have to use his face as removal eventually. That's enough for me. Yeah. All and I have to do is pick up a Doom Guard. If he gets a swipe, nope, gets BGH. So he can uh, do all the math he wants, but uh, that's not going to end up well for him. He can't. Force of nature, hero power. Would that ever do it? 
I guess what you'd have to find is a taunt, like an unstable ghoul off the Pilot of Shredder, if you smash into Doomguard. That's like one of your only outs, if not the yeah. only out. I, yeah, I mean, I, I want to see, I just want to see him smash that Shredder and hope for the best, because hey, otherwise you're just kind of waiting for whatever happens, and obviously then he's going to need to be looking for a swipe so he can actually get the board cleared away and try to start this whole thing over. If somehow... He hits all those all those numbers in a row that would put Cypher in a bit of an awkward position. He's gonna go force of nature. All right, he's definitely gonna try to get that uh, that play we just spoke of. I mean, could he live here if he does go for the? And let's see what he got. Armor Snow. Smith. That's not even bad, actually. Wow, that is not even a bad card for him. Yeah. Because he's going to end up, uh, what has he got? Uh, five yeah, he's on got board. more armor. He needs, like, yeah. Cypher needs to find three more. Four on board at the end. That's of, yeah. only two. That's only two damage. Two cards could help show in this position, but that's not going to be enough. No. Overwhelming uh, <laughs> uh -oh. getting picked up by Cypher. There was there. another one of those hanging around. Oh, man. Show man. coming really close. Coming really close to, like, just stabilizing one turn, maybe finding a yeah. taunt on the back end, but that was not enough. So, Cypher equalizing the series one to one, and she's gonna have to climb back from this. Um, there's gonna be the Zoo deck again, having one from Cypher, leaves him again with his Paladin against the Druid from Sho. Yeah, same decks. Uh, yeah, 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 Paladin. Yeah, that Paladin was a, a little bit of a weird one here, so maybe Sho gonna be able to play it back. Obviously gonna have to uh, change the pace of things. That slow play at the beginning for Sho, hoping that he was running into something a little bit slower out of the Warlock than Zoo. Uh, I mean, really, I mean, that set him up for just bad times all around because Cypher was able to play really comfortably. Yeah, it's Zoo anyway has like an 80% win rate, like 70 to 80% win rate against Druid. It's still one of the notorious, awful matches, uh, matchups that is. There's very few classes in the game or matchups in the game that have as lopsided a matchup. Like, it's no Freeze Mage versus Warrior, but it's definitely up there as far as the win rates. So, Shades, Ragnaros, obviously, show just keeps all of this and holds on to uh, <laughs> Equality going to be the only hold there for Cypher. And since the uh, spec always gets a little weird, we'll see what he ends up with. Both the Shades going to be held on to here for show, Force of Nature. Yeah, get them out as soon as possible so Consecration doesn't pick them off. And Quartermaster for Cypher, which he was probably looking for in that first game and never quite found. As he did get Muster, didn't get the Quartermaster. Coin, Wild Growth. Are we going to see the Wild Blade from Cypher here? Because he, do, he, like, he does coin out the Wild Growth. Not only that, but he also has double shade. The only better hand might be a Shredder instead of the second shade. But even that, like the faster you get the shades out... Better off you'll be. And let's see what he grows with. Force of Nature going to be the next draw, so Shade really the only thing. And back over, Aldor Peacekeeper for Cypher. And, uh, I, you know, he got his shield as mini, shielded minibot early on, got a zombie chow. So, you know, it's a decent enough early run here for Cypher. Yeah, and Equality Consecration already being there means there's very few chances of the Druid overtaking the board in, you know, an unmanageable way. BGH uh, for show. And he's just going to double shade. And he's going to keep them stealthed. No reason not to. Yeah. Ooh. Mind control tech. Ooh. Yeah. Show going to have to be careful playing around that because, yeah. He'll I mean, know. He's yeah. seen it, right? I. Yeah, 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 yeah. He lost his the Shredder. shredder. Yeah. Right, so knowing that, I don't think he'll play into it like very, very aggressively. Yeah, I mean, the board's not particularly scary at the moment. Your shades are, are going to be... Uh, uh, Cypher's the one that's going to be looking for something to deal with on that, so I, I think you can afford to take it kind of easy there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's going to consecrate Worst early and often. Off the board. Yeah, he doesn't want to get the, the, the shades unstealth on the next turn. He wants to force the opponent to unstealth them as fast as, it ha uh, as he can. Show fighting a Drake, pretty good for the curve, to put it mildly. Another Besides Drake. Right, so a card draw, not necessarily, I mean, you know, great to have card draw, but it doesn't keep the curve silky smooth like butter in a half pipe. So, muster for battle in Cypher's hand. Got his quartermaster as well. They would, that combo in turn eight against Druid is so difficult to recover from when you're the Druid player. Um, to the point where it's almost as bad as when um, a warrior runs into it. 
Because unless they have the brawl, you're usually just going to you know steamroll them. Starting to, I mean, he's starting to get his board set up nicely to lead into it as well as he's going to pop the divine shield on the mini bot. Innervate here for show. So as Cypher is sitting in a pretty comfortable spot to ramp up in in the direction of Quartermaster Muster. Uh, show five three now on that shade. He's got a Drake. He's got swipe. two options really, like Force of Nature to trade stuff away now, and then next turn Drake Innervate swipe. Um, or, you know, swipe right now and just hero power. Which is, you know, there are two options there. It depends on whether or not he wants to really use up a force of nature this early. It's all about his fear of the quartermaster. Yeah, grabs five back and he's gonna he's gonna get the shade to work. Yeah, and show though, not works. having the answer to that muster for battle. Yeah, just nothing to uh, get those guys away. Gonna go ahead and face on that guy. How often do you force of nature to clear? Pretty much never, right? Yeah, I mean, he didn't get to see... I mean, you got to know Quartermaster's hanging out in there, but do you think he's got it, you know? Well, it's one yeah. once you say, yeah, let me just... I'll wait on it. It's Ancient a big War. fear at this point, because that Quartermaster is super dangerous. If you play yeah. Drake, you can at least kill one of the one ones. If you play Ancient of Lore, you're betting that... Uh, unless you innervate out your hero power, you're going to get hit in the face for 12, possibly. Well, it looks like he's going to go for it, yeah. If you find Savage Roar and Cypher, just goes face... Show almost wins on the back of that. It's a keeper and a savage roar. Antique heal bot here for Cypher. Do you think he ever doesn't trade? Like if he if he uses the hero power, does he just go face with everything or does he trade two of the three threes away? I I gotta imagine you want that board clear as a just I mean you got advantage. It's one like there's there's you know good aggressive play and then there's greedy. And I, I got to thank you. Oh, I, yeah, kind of a quality quartermaster. And there you go. Nice and clean. Yeah, that equality was actually super well played. And now yeah. show is pretty much out of it. Yeah, I mean, that's a Using big equality board as to wipe a, Yeah, that's a crazy way to wipe the board. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that. I was like, yeah, yeah, normally, because normally you think about it as a I'm behind kind of a play, but that's a to stay ahead kind of a play there for equality and nicely yeah. played by Cypher. Show in a bad spot and shaking his head because he knows it. I'll be He's honest, got some I don't trades, see how but they're not, yeah. This is going to be like, if he plays Root of the Claw, it's going to just eat up, uh, it's going to soak up six damage, but then what do you do? Do you yep. innervate out? Do you try to get the Drake? What are you going to find? Starfall? Does, do you yes. play Starfall? I mean, that's like the only out that I could see really yeah, making a for big trades difference. across with Force of Nature. I mean, it's just it's a tough spot to be in for show. Uh, and I mean, showing it. On his face, he's uh, he's just kind of trying to find a way through this, but that quartermaster just, ugh. he didn't get it the first go round. Cypher getting it now in a very, very big spot after he sent the, the matchup 1-1. One, one. Looks like he is going to Druid. Maybe. He's thinking yeah, about like, it. As I said, you know, before we started, Druid is pretty, is pretty good, but Paladin, any archetype from Paladin generally has an edge over the Druid. Not like, you know, a 75% win rate edge, but a you know, it's, it can go up to 75 depending on the archetype, but very often Paladin has what it takes. Silence to mitigate a little bit, but... Uh, uh, that's going to steal Silver it. That's Silver champion. champion comes in for the lethal. I don't believe he had him dead on board just yet. He was just shy uh, of a bit of damage. But the Strusor Champion is going to seal the game, and Cypher is going to take it over show at the moment. There you Two go. Two to one. That's the series in favor of Cypher. Bounce. Show now... I mean, that's a pretty rough match. You, you can't even begin to talk about how big of a get that was for Cypher because now he's forced show to 1-2. He's 1-1, one, right. one, so I mean, he's right back in this tournament, whereas if he had gone down to show there, he was all but, you know, looking at the door. So massive get for Cypher, who's going to keep himself alive in a big way and, and at least put show uh, into a possible tiebreaker situation. Yeah, so Cypher's going to have to win, you know, at least one more game to be able to get to the top three of his group to get yep. to the playoffs. But if he does that, then it's going to be a pretty big achievement for him. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be taking a short break. We'll be back with the last match of the day between 
life coach, the you know all too often nicknamed rope coach, who takes the most time amongst all players, and surrender, a South Korean player, uh, you know of whom I had heard nothing about, but has done very well so far in the league. 2-0 so far. He's won two of the matches that he's played. If he wins here versus life coach. Not only is that a proof of strength, which I think we've already seen demonstrated, but it's going to almost lock him into the playoffs. So that's definitely going to be yeah. a great match for Surrender. Absolutely. And I one, I got to say, uh, we finally got a little bit more information on Surrender. I'll talk about that when we come back. Uh, but there's some, some big stuff that we'll talk about because he's uh, apparently a pretty talented dude. So we're going to go to a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 